to Porvo, Finland. Today we took a bus ride from Helsinki to this charming little city which is actually the second oldest city in Finland. We just got off our bus and walked on over to the old town and we are in an alleyway heading there and it already looks so stunning. You can see a bunch of older buildings and colors so let's go see what there is to see. So our bus ride was only about an hour, I think only 50 minutes, and cost us about 15 euros a person there and back, and we're gonna be here for about five hours. So we're gonna explore as much as we can of the city, and I can already tell you, it is amazing. So behind me is the Old Town Hall, which was built in 1764. So inside, there's a museum, and there's supposed to be galleries, but we believe it's $12 a person to get in which is kind of a lot. So we're gonna think about that first. We're gonna go look at the cathedral and stroll around. Hopefully that one's not $12. <laughs> Man, this is a hilly city already. This yeah. is not what we're used to. It's just a nice hilly getting our steps in, you know? Maybe bad day to wear Burks. So we just walked through the Porvo Cathedral, which dates back to the 15th century and even has parts in there from the 13th century. So it's one of the oldest Finnish churches. We haven't been through many evangelical Lutheran churches like this one, but this one, I thought the interior was quite stunning. It was on more on the simple side with colors of white, green, and little hints of gold. I do like the outside though. It reminds me of kind of like a whimsical fairy tale. You know, like a little cottage that would be in a fairy tale story. All right, we barely made it. One stop, and Andrew found a bakery. I love bread. <laughs> <laughs> I Is love that it. what you're gonna get, bread? Just plain bread. <laughs> plain bread. See what they got. Yeah. No, he's going for sweets for sure. <laughs> that looks delicious. Remember, you're getting that back there, the bread. <laughs> Cotillion Pomo. Wow, that's Absolutely perfect. butchered that. Perfect. But it's a traditional Finnish bakery. And I got what looks like a blueberry kolache, but I know this is something else. Beautiful bread, nice and soft. I'm very excited to dig into this. And I got the equivalent, but with strawberries. Mm, they smell fresh. This is so cute, I love it. I can tell the blueberries are fresh. I don't know how, but. <laughs> I was about to say, how? <laughs> you said the same thing. You said they smell fresh. How do you know they smell fresh? <laughs> they did. And so when I say they taste fresh, <laughs> I don't get made, you, I, you don't get made you fun made of. You made fun of yourself first. And I just jumped on the train. <sighs> the freshest Finnish coffee I've ever had. Thank you very much. Oh. Sorry for the fresh strawberry. <laughs> no, that is actually super good. Oh, it's like a jello. Look at that. It's like a pudding jello strawberry. It's not too sweet either. It's just perfect. It's a perfect blend. And same with the bread. And most importantly, it's fresh. <laughs> <laughs> this bakery is so well decorated on the inside. I love the wallpaper with the yellow flowers, the furniture. It reminds me of my mom's and grandma's furniture that we have in our house and even even the napkins are cute look <laughs> thank you did you say thank you and finish uh, oh no. no i'm sorry goodbye sorry <laughs> uh, uh, can you just say like moi moi or no uh, yeah usually usually for me from, from the restaurant we just have the fight kitos ah uh, is it kitos or we eat usually oh uh, okay Well, that was such a good stop. That was very fun. And we chatted a while with the girl that worked there. She was very sweet. <laughs> now we're trying to figure out what to do next. I heard there's a lot of secondhand shops that are fun to shop around. <laughs> I say we go that way and do the secondhand shopping, which, do we know if it's over there? Mm, my gut says yes. Okay, again, my gut's not working, so let's just go this way. <laughs> 
We are once again repping the Finland tote. Struts. Let's go. Are you from Finland? Yay. I don't know. Is that how you say yes? Oh, no. okay. I think they just say yes. Yeah, let's go. Look at that tote. <laughs> I know, it's adorable. Good looking tote. Oh my gosh, that's a good looking tote. <laughs> I'm obsessed. <laughs> well, I did it again. Or we did it again. We're toted out. We cannot buy anymore. <laughs> I feel like every episode we've bought a new tote. We did buy one yesterday. We could have. Could have. Easily could have. Okay, could've. this one is so cute though because look. It's the Moomin. Moomin. This is like a super popular cultural cartoon here basically that everybody watches or has watched. Now I'm starting to fall in love. Now we have to watch it. Yeah, yeah. I knew I wanted something with these little characters on it, but this is perfect. This is so sweet. And good priced. And our sixth tote of the trip. No, it's only our second. All right, yeah, put but. This Put the tote in the tote. Yeah, but think about the ones we bought in Spain. So we're, we're back in front of the museum. <laughs> but we're gonna continue strolling because that's what we've been doing. Hopping in the shops, we went into a tea shop, jewelry shop, a lot of handmade crafts that are for sale and they're all so beautiful. This is kind of a like laid back experience. Stroll through the streets, walk into a cafe. Kind of a take it easy day, you know? Perfect, absolutely perfect for us. This one's cute too. There's surprises for two years. <laughs> I think I'll go with this one. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs> this is so interesting. It's a toy! <laughs> you can make a little house! Oh. That's so cute! And then I have a random Mulan. <laughs> I don't know what the Mulan has to do with it. <laughs> but I like this because it's like one of the little houses. Oh. Wow. That's cute. I used to do these when I was young. Well, we wrapped up our day by having lunch at this cafe called Gabriel 1763. Yep. Is that it? Gabriel 1763, and it was really delicious. And afterwards, I picked up some chocolate, so I was gonna get some as a gift anyways, and they had a super good deal for all this chocolate for 10 euros. I sound like I'm splurging today, which maybe I was. But anyways, and so far our day, Porfu has been really, really fun. It's been relaxing. We've strolled the town. We met some people. <laughs> It's been wonderful. Perfect day trip if you're in Helsinki. It's so pretty and green. Finland in June is 